Hello, rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. It's Saturday, April 23rd, 2022. We headed out first thing in the morning, and we waited about an hour before the first train would arrive. A northbound auto rack train, led by a single ET-44AH. And a bunch of different graffiti on this one here. And some more interesting graffiti. It's about five minutes later now, and we have a mid-train DPU, a YN2 AC44CW. And finally, about seven minutes later, the end of the train goes by. After that, it would be about 20 minutes and we'd have another train coming. Check that out. Double YN2 AC44 CWs lead this southbound. An awesome catch. And here's an old Sulai car. And a CSX big blue box car, followed by an old chassis system box car that's definitely seen better days. And finally, about five and a half minutes later, the tail end of this train passes by us. After he disappeared into the distance, we almost immediately heard a train on the other side of town. It took about 15 minutes to get up to where I was at. And this car rushes through the gates as they're still dropping. And a bit of foreign power here, with a Norfolk Southern ES-40 DC leading, followed by a Canadian Pacific AC-4400 CWM and an AC-44 CW from Canadian Pacific. A nice surprise. A 
my northbound tanker train. I haven't caught a full tank train in quite some time. And I don't think I've seen one of these ones before. And soon enough, the end of the train goes by. After this one passed, it would be about half an hour, and then we'd have another northbound coming. DC leads this one. In trailing, we have a nice surprise with some AMD power as an SD40 2 trails. And check out the patch job on this gondola. And check out the Sturgis Iron and Metal sign on that gondola. And here's an interesting two-tone paint job. About four minutes later and we've reached the end of the train. Well folks, that's all for this episode of French Fried Trains. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.